name is Jason and this is just watches. Okay, today we have a watch from the brand Watch Dives. Now I've been curious about this watch because I love the watch it's homaging and by homaging I basically mean copying and that's the white dial Omega Seamaster 300M. Now while I love the look of that watch, it is quite large and quite pricey as well. So I thought checking out this Watch Dives version might be a fun way to flirt with the idea of owning one. However, before we get to the review, if you're enjoying the contents of this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you like the contents of this individual video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Now, as of the time of this recording, this particular colorway is sold out on the Watch Dives website, but it is available in a few different other colorways. Now, I assume they'll eventually restock this colorway at some point in the future, and the price of this watch is $159. Now, the case is 42 millimeters in diameter. It's 49 millimeters lug to lug. It's 14 millimeters thick, and then the lug width opening is 20 millimeters. Now on this stock bracelet, it weighs in at 117 grams. Now this case is made of titanium. The scalloped bezel overhangs the case slightly, so the lugs and crown guards extend out from under the bezel in these nice sweeping lines of the lyre style lugs, and then those rounded crown guards. Now there's no mix of finishing here. Everything has a satin finish, and the titanium has a slightly darker hue than you would normally see on stainless steel. Now while this watch is 14 millimeters thick, there's a nice balance between the mid case, bezel, and case back, and I think it looks and wears thinner than the specification. The stock straight end mesh bracelet is really quite good for the price. Again, no mixed finishing. Everything matches the case with that kind of satin finish, including the double push deployant. You can adjust where the deployant attaches to the bracelet. And once you have it in the right spot, you don't have to adjust it anymore. You just use the deployant to open and close. Now the action is decent and pretty satisfying. And then also the excess tail tucks underneath. So the overall effect when you're wearing it on wrist is very nice. The screw down case back helps provide a stated 100 meters of water resistance and is completely sterile with scalloped edges. Let's hope you don't have to open this one because you will definitely need a special tool to do so. Unless you're really good with a case back ball, you might be able to pull it off. Now, not much else to say about this case back other than it does help out with that overall balance of the thickness of the watch. This watch is powered by the Seiko NH35. This is a hacking hand winding 21,600 vibration per hour movement with a 42 hour power reserve in a stated accuracy of minus 20 to plus 40 seconds a day. It also features a quick set date. As you can see, this one is running about plus 11 to plus 12 seconds a day with the dial up and around plus 14 seconds a day with the crown up. The 6mm screw down crown is signed with the Watch Dives logo, and despite the crown guards, it's easy to grip and operate. The threading is really short, you can actually screw the crown down in about two turns, which is a bit disconcerting, but other than that, the crown is fine. I should also mention there's another screw down at 10, mimicking a helium escape valve, although I doubt this is functional, nor would I rely on this watch at helium escape level depths of diving, from what I understand that's 100 meters plus. The domed sapphire crystal rises about one millimeter proud of the bezel and is treated with anti-reflective coating. And the air coating is not bad either and really helps with the visibility of this very cool dial. Now the scalloped bezel is a little bit hard to grip and then the 120 click unidirectional bezel has an okay action. It feels a bit tinny and sandy and isn't super satisfying, but the alignment on this bezel is spot on. The insert here is ceramic and then fully loomed, which you'll see in the loom shot and looks really cool. Now, Obviously, Watch Dives gets no credit for the design of this dial or handset, but it is a really fun one. The dial itself is a beautiful shiny white that has waves etched into it. Around the edge of the dial are dashes for the minutes that are clustered in small sets of four flanking each hour index. Those applied indices are edged in black and filled with loom. We have a date at six along with the Watch Dives logo at 12. And then at six again, we have automatic and water resistance in red, which complements the red at the very tip of the second hand. Now I've always been a fan of skeletonized handsets and I think this is one of the strangest and most extreme. You have these massive skeletonized sections created by very slim borders. The hour and minute hand can actually be a touch hard to tell apart at first, but you eventually get used to the shapes at the end. And then of course that minute hand is slightly longer. Now the second hand is long with a simple counterbalance, a loomed lollipop, and then a red tip. Now part of what makes these hands so fun is when they overlap in interesting ways. I think this is really a hate it or love it handset, but I definitely fall into the love it camp. So we have a fully loomed bezel on this watch, and as you can see, the loom is bright, responsive, and long-lasting. 
So this watch is slightly smaller lug to lug than the real Seamaster, but even with that slightly smaller size on my six and three quarters inch wrist, it's basically, you know, going from tip to tip, which is about as large as I like to wear watches. You can see from the side, it is quite flat, so you don't get a ton of relief from that lug to lug distance. That being said, the stock bracelet, as well as I'm going to show it on a, show it on an Artem strap, both drape down pretty quickly off the ends of the watch. So I think you could definitely pull it off with this wrist, wrist size. I think it might look slightly better on a larger wrist, but again, that's just comes to your own personal taste. So as for pros and cons, starting with the pros, well, it's pretty incredible what you can get from the factory brands these days as far as specs. They continue to push the envelope offering this watch in titanium for $150 with, you know, ceramic bezel, sapphire crystal, good loom, etc, etc. And then second, I really like the bracelet on this one. The clasp is on the bulkier side, but I think it looks great on the watch and it's comfortable to wear. And then third, as mentioned, that loom is really strong and having the loom bezel is really fun. And then for cons, of course, uh, obligatory this is an homage slash copy and that's going to rub some people the wrong way. Second, due to the design of the bracelet, there aren't any half or micro positions so you might not be able to get a perfect fit. And then third, the threading on the screw down crown is very short which feels a bit odd when screwing the crown in. I'd also be skeptical of any water resistance claim on these brands. Probably not a watch you'd want to dive with. And then last, the bezel action isn't super satisfying. It's hard to explain but it's a bit sandy but at least it does line up. So no comps here, but I do really like these homages as a relatively inexpensive way to try out a very expensive watch. I think especially if you're in the market for the real deal, pick one of these up first and wear it for a few months to really decide if the watch is for you without spending thousands of dollars first. So there you have it, the Watch Dives WD-007 in titanium. What do you think about this watch? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you're enjoying the contents of this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you like the contents of this individual video, please give it a thumbs up. That's all for this time. My name is Jason, and you've been watching Just Watch This.